This is a guide on how to host your own Valheim dedicated server with Steam CMD on a Windows machine. You will need to own the game with your Steam account since this will require you to log in with your Steam account to make a dedicated server and update the server when patches roll out. First off, download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you will be hosting your server. First off, download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you will be hosting your server so simply just open up a browser and just type in steam cmd downloads and make sure it's on this one go to steam cmd web developer community click on windows click on the links to download the files extract it somewhere where you can find it easily all right now we'll need to launch command prompt as an admin Navigate to where you downloaded Steam CMD. In my case, I just put it in my C drive within a folder called Steam CMD. And now we're gonna type in this command CD space C colon backslash Steam CMD. Run the following command to download the server files. I'll go ahead and put this command line down below in the descriptions. Make sure you put in your Steam account name. This will also create a new folder called Valheim server in your C drive. Now we need to locate the server file settings. Navigate to your C drive and a new folder you created, Valheim server. Find the start underscore headless server dot batch file. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this batch file to save a copy of the default settings in case we mess up the original one. We'll need to edit the dash name this will be the server name displayed in the server list. The name of the world, the dash world. This is the save. This is saved under this path. All right, we'll navigate to that where that location is for where your world is. Just go to users and your current logged in username. In my case, it's admin. And this is a hidden folder. So what you want to do is configure your view. Make sure this checkbox for hidden items is checkbox. If it's not, it won't display here. It's just doing this for an example. Now it displays. And now we're going to go to app data, local low, iron gate, Valheim, and worlds underscore local. And this is where you will have your backups of the world. And what you want to do is you can pretty much load these off somewhere else if that's what you want to do but it is backing it up automatically but if you want to put it on a separate hard drive or something feel free to do so I highly recommend it if you're a big Valheim fan and don't want to lose everything and the password section password for private servers minimum of at least five characters delete the slash crossplay and put in slash public space one and then save the script and then it should kind of look like this this is the one that works for me all right now we'll need a port for these ports it is going to be 2456 through 2458 you will need to log into your router to achieve port forwarding if you have never done this I would kind of show you how you can just launch command prompt on your dedicated server Type in ipconfig, take note of the IPv4 address, take note of the default gateway IP, open up a browser, type in the default gateway IP address. If you don't know the login information at this point, it should be on your router with a sticker with the username and password. I highly recommend changing the default password if you haven't already just for security reasons. If you don't know how to port forward on your modem router, you may just need to Google it for your specific model. But in my case, I am going to log into my Asus modem. I'm going to go to WAN, port forwarding, add a profile, and add in the ports that need to be forwarded to my dedicated servers. All right, now we'll need to run the script, the start headless server.batch file in the Valheim server folder that we created. And if the Windows firewall does pop up, go ahead and allow it through the firewall. Let it generate the world. Once you see this, that means the world is ready. Now we need to launch the game. Choose your character to play. Filter in the server name in the community section. 
also make sure you favorite this server join in and input the password hope this video helped you out let me know down in the comments down below what game you want to see next for a dedicated server setup see you next time cheers